I just want to warn everyone that this is probably going to contain some pretty strong language. Eve took an apple, though it probably wasn't an apple, it was probably more of a pear-like fruit at the time, but is kind of beside the point. Regardless of what type of fruit she took, she took from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The knowledge of good and evil. When you're a kid, I don't know if you really appreciate the difference between what good is and what evil is. That's probably why you're able to puke all over your parents and then smile and laugh about it. Children are the worst is what my thesis is here today. As we progress through life, we become so much better at being terrible. Through childhood and adolescence, and especially when we get to become teenagers, we perfect assholery. Now whether that's parental apathy or on purpose, we do become knowledgeable on what is good and what is evil, even though there's sometimes debate on which is which. I live in Canada, and there's these two cases I've been thinking about a lot here recently. Last year, Amanda Todd killed herself because of online bullying and having slut-shaming happen to her. Retea Parsons, here just a few weeks ago, killed herself as well, also because of bullying and this stupidity on the part of teenagers and law enforcement. However, I'd be deceiving myself and others if I did not admit that these cases are not a direct result of years of innate sexism in Western culture. How else do you explain what's happened in Steubenville, Ohio recently, where two teenage males raped a girl? They raped her. They raped her. She was blackout drunk at a party and these two 16 year old kids raped her and filmed it while happening. And while she was still blackout drunk, they took her to other parties and had other people rape her too. This big question that came out of the media and also people that are living in the town that this happened in was, what's gonna happen to the athletic careers of these two boys? Who the fuck cares? They raped her! There's this mob mentality now that's sprung up that we just want to run this girl out of town because she just wouldn't shut up about it. This is happening in Canada, this is happening in the United States, this is happening elsewhere in the world. And can we all just kind of freak out about this for a second? Gah! <sighs> okay, I'm calm. I'm not really, but let's just pretend that I am. Eve did a great thing. As soon as she took a bite from that apple, no longer could we make excuses for being in some sort of myopic stupor over what was right or wrong. Knowledge is said to be power. People can hide behind excuses of, I was just following orders, or it says in this book, this is how I'm supposed to react. It's bullshit. It's all just bullshit. People need to accept responsibility for the actions that they take, and we as a world are better than trying to justify certain rapes. And that's why Eve translates into certain languages as a source of life. Hmm. Well, I think there's a worm in here.